up The break damn crazy on this one Had a half whipped it to a hole Then the flip side Whole squad go like We, we had squad. like a, a, it was a, it was a It's been a grudge It's like been a I don't know what his problem is with me But we had a real life Like problem Like it was one time Me, K, Shine, and Goods Was going to the uh, We was going to the 7-Eleven I think it's around Massacre 2 and uh, we go on 7-Eleven. It's a group of guys standing out, out, out there, and they looking all mean. They mean mugging the car. And and uh, this dude, this dude K. Shine gonna have the, the nerve. He he look in the back seat. He say, "Yo, man, if if Rex call me right now, and tell me to slap the shit out you, I'll do it." I'm like, "What the fuck?" He said, "But if any one of these niggas out here try something with you, I'm gonna beat their ass for you." So it was like he dissed me, and then he. He's kind of stole love at the same time. So I'm kind of thinking, did you just say you will slap me, nigga? Like, like dog, I'll, I'll choke your ass out right here from the back seat, my nigga. Like, what's up? Like, you know what I mean? So we've always had a grudge. So when we actually got in there to battle, the, the aggression and, and the, the that tension was real. That wasn't like, we we beforehand talked and said, "Hey, you be this way and I'll be not like I didn't ever talk to him since that day he told me he would slap me, bro." Like and and that's why I was like, "Nigga, if you any of that shit you used to doing to these niggas, you pushing and and you not slapping Sharon and dog, I'm not that nigga, bro. You do that shit with me, I'm knocking your ass out right here on pay-per-view." That was my whole mentality. My whole mentality was, "Nigga, we finna fight at any moment." Any moment we're gonna fight. So I accidentally put my, I did the little gun shit and I said, uh, Chucky trying to switch bodies. Wait, 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 DNA, never mind. You a bitch probably acting all tough like you can't get homie. I have a rubber grip on his forehead like Chucky trying to switch bodies. Ah! Uh, OG said, uh, OG said, I should leave these streets like the rest of them should. The Grim Reaper's outfit tells you there's nothing but death in the hood. And I accidentally nudged his, his head back. And he slapped my arm down hard as fuck. But, it, you know, it was my fault. I initiated the contact. And from that moment on, the, <laughs> the battle, you feel me? <laughs> oh, the battle was tense from that moment on. And Smack kind of had to, like, like he had to, like, yo, you know, like, you know, chill out. Like, because we, it, it might have went down at any second, man, so. Shout out to K Shine though. I feel like he ran out of material as far as like he kept reverting back to the 12K angle. And also I counter wrote him because I knew he was gonna do a worse life decisions. So I did it in my second round and beat him to the punch. And I did it on myself. I made one of the worst life decisions. For instance, I gave 12,000 to Rex. I could have gave that to my infants, but instead he ducked and hid from me because he knew there was a distance. I could have bought Jack Boy Main some shoes. Maybe he write better bars. I could have gave it all to you so you and DNA wouldn't have to share a car. I could have made sure, I could have made sure we only booked you because you rapping ill. But they bring DNA with you because y'all be coming as a package deal. The way Eminem did Papa Doc on, you know, he, you already you already know what your opponent going to say. You already know he going to clown you about this. So I might as well do it myself. That's why I said I made one of the worst life decisions. For instance, I gave 12,000 erect. I could have gave that to my infants. So I knew he was going to bring it up. And what happened his third round? Yeah, you make the worst life decisions. For instance, you going. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Did he take big money, Christopher Wallace? Because 12 grand? Well, that could have been your kid's admission to college. Uh -huh. You put their future on the line for a nigga deposit. What type of, what type of fucking businessman making investments without legitimate profit? He does the worst life decisions. I knew it. So it was like I counter wrote him, and and I was able to get under his skin because I said we missed that old shine, the one that never choked and just smashed folks. What happened to the shine versus DNA with the goggles on and lab coat? Fuck all that. 
I'm going to stand here and take time to ask you for your fans why you became paid sign. They missed that old sign. The one that never oh, you just got that. They missed that old sign. Just got that. They missed that old sign. Just got the that. one that never choked and just masked folks. What happened to that sign versus DNA with the goggles on and lab coat? He was like, you just got that. You just got that. You just got that. Like, so I got him emotional. And, and that's part of winning a battle is, is saying some shit that's going to get your opponent upset. And once you show signs of visible, uh, you know, uncomfort or you talk frustration, you talking through a nigga around, it's kind of like a nigga getting to you. And so you, you, you're you losing, you know? So I felt like he brought three great rounds, but I felt like I won that battle for sure, for sure. That's why people watch battle rap. I'm going to tell you because they want to see, they want to see some shit said to somebody that they probably wouldn't be able to take themselves. Like, because it's kind of like people are, are 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 amazed by that. Like, wow, this guy is really saying he's going to have sex with your mother in front of your kids and all this crazy stuff. And this guy is keeping a straight face. Like, he's like, yo, if somebody says something like that to me, I'll fucking, you know, I'll punch him in the face. So, you know, you got to beat somebody creatively. You got to be better with the bar. That's my whole first, my whole mentality first. But at the same time, you were supposed to disrespect and, and upset your opponent. Like, that's the whole name of the game. My thing is this. If one guy has better bars and one guy don't have, you know, the same amount of bar or, or, or level, but if he upsets the guy and gets the guy to start talking through his round or showing visible signs of frustration, then he lost the battle. So whoever show whoever show emotion first lose. That's, that's the name of the game. Now I feel like 50 cent nigga I was a poor nigga Try to get rich nigga I ain't had it homie That's my people's shit nigga Till poppy can sign 50 off the brick nigga Getting it now I feel like 50 cent nigga I'm gonna get rich nigga Like 50 cent nigga I would split a dime bag to a nick nigga Sell it for a dime bag of the piff nigga Sky dweller green froggy on the wrist nigga Now we 20 figures Deep in it nigga Stay in the Look like infinity, nigga. Feel like hope, man. They think I'm that I'm feeling hope.